Hello, Mimi here. Welcome to my channel. So glad you're here today. I want to show you how to make a very cute little basket like this and fill it with a bunch of florals. All of the florals that I'm using for this are all gonna be faux or artificial. I'm gonna go ahead and get started. And what I did in preparation is I've got my glue pot heating up. And of course, you know, I'm gonna add my uh, finger protectors. I'm making this basket as part of my front porch uh, makeover. And um, I'm gonna add it once I'm done to the door. And then I will also show you in the reveal that I'm doing. I did part one of that video and I hope you get a chance to go ahead and look at that. And this will be, like I said, in the reveal. So what I'm gonna start doing is just adding some of this uh, moss, Spanish moss down in the bottom. Um, of course you can use the green moss if you like, but um, I've got this on hand and I like to try to use as much of what I already have on hand when I'm working with projects so that um, I'm saving money and uh, not running back and forth to the store to get things. So this is kind of how it looks and I'm just pushing that down in there. Um, one of the things that I am concerned about by making this and hanging this out there is that uh, it could attract the birds once again and of course come back and try to um, build another nest. So uh, I believe I have a little bit of a remedy for that. Uh, of course, something that won't hurt the birds, but um, will also stop them from building another nest. So I've got that packed down in there pretty good for coverage. And I'm gonna add a little bit more. Because what I wanna do with this is make sure that I cover up my, um, the foam that I'm gonna add in here, cover up my mechanics so that you don't see anything and everything is nice and neat. But I wanna make a nice little bed in there um, before I put the, the foam in there. A few more pieces and then we'll move on to the next step. And so I've already cut my foam that I'm gonna put down in here and I'm just gonna dip it in the the hot glue on one side and glue the two pieces together, just like that. That's holding together pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add some glue across this side of it and then just put it down into the moss. So I'm gonna use this spatula. It kind of became the victim of um, hanging on the side of the glue pot. I got these from the Dollar Tree for $1.25 and it's still good to use even though it's a little bent. All right, so I've got my glue all ready and now I'm gonna press it right down in there. And that's gonna give me my base that I need when I start adding uh, the florals in there. I'm going to add a little bit more of the moss. And this Spanish moss, I also got this from uh, the Dollar Tree too. So I'm just gonna put that in there. And the nice thing about this uh, foam that I have in here is that it's a, a dark color and so it blends in with the color of the, uh, of the Spanish moss. The basket, if I didn't mention it, I got the basket from uh, Hobby Lobby. And um, I just thought it would be something a little bit different um, to do for you outside of a wreath, kind of give you a different variation on what you can do to uh, make items to decorate either the inside of your home or the outside of your home. Now I am ready to start adding my florals, um, but once again, I wanna let you see how that looks down in there and where I'm gonna start um, putting my florals in. I think what I wanna start with first though, um, is going to be some of the greenery. Got a lot of greenery and I'm just gonna show you what I have as I move along. Um, again, just to kind of, uh, in the essence of time, to keep things moving for you. And by the way, if you are new to my channel, thank you so much for joining. Um, I certainly appreciate it. So I'm gonna add a piece over here. I dipped it in that hot glue and I'm adding a piece right there. And this is boxwood, and this is really pretty greenery um, because it does have a little bit of color variation in it. And I'm gonna add another piece right here. 
this is your first time uh, viewing my channel, I hope that you will uh, subscribe and uh, of course hit that notification button and so that you can see uh, more of my videos as they come out. I love working with florals. It doesn't matter if they're real or not. Um, it's just the beauty of making things with florals. It just really excites me and I just love sharing it with you. So uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and come back. And of course, leave me a comment too and kind of tell me what you think. If this is something um, that you like, if you actually try it yourself, or just in case, if you don't, I have these on my Etsy site. Uh, I made a couple more um, and I have one that's in just a beautiful, beautiful purple color. <laughs> Some of the glue, uh, a beautiful purple color. And then I have another one that is uh, similar in color to what I'm doing today for my front porch. Uh, the colors that I'm using for my front porch are uh, yellow and um, orange. And so that's going to be incorporated in this design that I'm doing. Um, so now I'm adding a, a higher piece of greenery with a nice little flower on it. Because in all of my arrangements, I like to have height, um, just to give it, uh, and I'll use the word dimension, and give it a lot of interest. And I just like things to come out and overflow and kind of have a, a garden style feel to it. Um, so as you watch my channel, you'll see a lot of that. And of course, if that's something you that you like, if that's the style that you like, then you'll certainly, um, uh, enjoy a lot of the videos that I have out there. When I use uh, the fresh floral, I like that garden style too, as well as what I'm doing for you right here. Let's so take that piece off. And as you see, I'm coming up a little bit higher with these pieces and building that area up in the background, because in the front, that's where I'm gonna start adding some of my florals. And I've got quite a few pieces of this, so this is going to fill up in the back of this basket, just like I like it. And as you see, I'm kind of working from the back and I'm working on my corners and coming around because I want to leave enough room so that I can start filling in with my florals. And then as I finish up where I see I want to fill in some more, I do have some extra pieces. I like to leave a few pieces on the side. I generally uh, say that quite a bit, um, but I say that because uh, just in case I miss a spot or you know, I want to fill in um, another area. I always leave out just a couple of pieces that I will have to work with. That one right there. So I've got that fanning out, I'm working on that garden style that I like, and I've got a couple pieces left over. And my lambs here, I'm just cutting that a little bit shorter because I want that to come in on the side, just like that couple pieces on each side and then as I add more I'll start filling it in the middle. It's right in here. You see that? See how it starts to give a little bit of a different color variation in there um, and I like that so that everything is not just all the same color. Um, gives you a lot more texture as you're building. And so this lamb's ear is certainly doing that for me. So I'm gonna add a piece over in this corner. And then I'm gonna add another piece over there.
and just like that i've got a lot of the greenery filled in there i've got more greenery that i'm going to add and some other pieces that i'm going to add but for right now i think i want to go ahead and start with uh, my focal flower which is this huge hydrangea and it has the colors that i'm using on my porch it has the yellow it has some orange and it is just going to work perfectly in this design a little bit of glue and then I'm gonna put it right on that end and push it all the way down in there as far as I can into that foam. There we go, isn't that beautiful? Nice big bloom right in there. Now I'm gonna come in with some smaller um, floral in here, that pretty yellow again, and that's just blending in with the rest of the colors. A little bit of glue. And these have some nice thick stems on them. So they're gonna work real well down in here. And I'm gonna add that one. Right down in here. There we go. And bring that one to the front so you can see it. And then I have another one. And I'm going to make this one a little bit taller. Then I'm going to add this one right in the back. So not only do I use um, the additional greenery that comes with it, but I also like to use the greenery from the bunch and just push that down in there. And now I have some eucalyptus that I'm going to add and that's going to go a little bit more on the top cut those pieces just a little bit taller so that you can see that up there. Um, the lambs here, I'm going to bring down just a little bit on each side so you can see that a little bit better. But as you can see, this is really getting packed full of florals um, real quickly. <laughs> and I've got some more of that. I'm going to go ahead and use the whole stem that I have of the eucalyptus and just cutting off the smaller pieces so that I can get to the bottom and put those pieces in. So I've got one piece right here, and so I'm gonna add a piece over here. Right in there. And I've got one more piece on that stem. I've got that right in there. Let me just pick that up and show you what it looks like. It's real pretty. I love the way those colors are coming together. I love the orange. I think that that is just really, really, really pretty. Um, but what I see is in the back that I need um, another piece of this, which again is why I like to save some of my pieces until the end so that I can see where I need to add more. Some glue on that. Hold on to this basket so it doesn't get away from me. And then I'm going to add that piece right up in there. There we go. Now I've got some more greeny, greenery that I want to add to kind of brighten it up even more. And I've got this one stem here. I think I got this from a Hobby Lobby too. And uh, by the way, the last time I was at Hobby Lobby, about a week or so ago, they had just started bringing out a lot of their fall um, flowers and uh, faux flowers and um, a lot of their 
Oh yeah, that's pretty. Kind of brightens it up right in here. And a lot of uh, the greenery. And so usually it goes on sale at at least 40% off. So um, certainly check back. It wasn't on sale when I went in because they had just put everything out. Um, but certainly go in and check and get you some nice pieces um, to start your projects with. And there we go. Just gonna push that right in there. Just a nice little touch of brightness in here. Kind of looks like uh, maybe you, know, you went out shopping and just started picking up some nice florals and adding them to the basket. Um, take it home with you. That, that kind of reminds me uh, with this design and with this style. That's what it's doing for me. This time I'm actually pushing it through the basket and attaching it to the foam that way. Put it back up on my stand. Ah, there we go. That's better. And I got a nice big piece right here. And I think for this one, I'm gonna come in on this side. Carefully move that in so I can just place it right in there. And this is what it looks like. Wow, that's pretty. Love those colors. And let's see if there's anything else that I wanna add. And of course there is. I have a few orange mums because I want to bring out some more of that orange in there. And so I'm going to add these two. So I want to add this piece right over here because I've got a lot of the color on that side and I want to add something over here. So a little bit of glue. And yes, my protectors do fall off, but I pick them up and um, try to remember to put them back on so that I don't have any accidents. So this one, right in there. Have some of that orange coming out on the basket. I think I'm gonna add another piece right in here. Kind of cluster these two over here. And slip it right in there. And then with this one small piece that I have, one last piece, I'm going to put that right over here. Right in there. So pretty. Can't wait to see how it looks on my front door. Uh, the last thing that I want to add to this is I have a few pieces of long grass and let's see, I was going to put Yes. Another piece of the lamb's ear in the front. And on this stem, I'm not going to trim this one because I'm going to need it to fit all the way down there. Just a little touch of it in the front. And now for my grass, let's see where we can fit this in. Oh yeah, like that right there. So again, more of that garden style that I like. Pushing it down in that foam. That garden style that just kind of flows here and there. And I've got one more piece that I am going to add right back here. 
a little glue and I can just hear it go right down in that foam. So I know it's in there good with that glue. And I think with that, I'm done. What do you think? Nice garden style basket that you can use to hang up on the front door like I'm gonna do. Or you could hang it anywhere in your home, in your kitchen, in your bathroom, wherever, a guest room where you wanna put some nice color in. Well, thank you for coming to my channel. I hope that this gives you some inspiration or some things that you may wanna do. Um, go ahead and get your glue gun out, get a basket and a bunch of flowers and greenery, and just let your own creativity come through and your own design so that you can make your very own hanging basket for your home. Very pretty. Can't wait to see it on my door. Well, thank you once again. And as always, whatever you do and wherever you go, be blessed.